Hello, my name is Simon Cousins and I work at the SILE typesetting system. I'm not a designer but uh, my background is cross-cultural communication and I think both things are incredibly important. Uh, you can celebrate the diversity of scripts to give people uh, an idea of the richness of scripts that are out there, but uh, that can be a little bit of a circus, it can be exotic. Uh, if we're going to become truly global, then we need to, to de-emphasize our own culture. I think we always begin by assuming that the things that we know are normal, and everybody else's stuff is exotic. So as well as showing the diversity of global scripts, I think translating ideas is so important because uh, you get more of a sense of the richness of the uh, artistry, of the craftsmanship that goes into things, and that helps to, to de-exoticize them and to denormalize our own experience. I think in some levels uh, we're doing very well, right at the base level in terms of supporting scripts in operating systems. I think the Unicode Commission is doing a, the Unicode Consortium is doing a fantastic job raising awareness of these things. That hasn't really filtered up to the application level yet. Most applications, computer programs are very Latin based, and so I would like to see that change. The most interesting thing that happens is when you have mixed directionality uh, within a text. I, sh I showed some examples of that this morning. Uh, when you have right to left text within left to right text, or left to right text within top to bottom text, things can get very interesting. I think we do, and I think for many years now, um, typography and computer science have been kind of heading in the same direction. Even uh, last night when John Hudson was talking about the work he'd been doing for the Murphy Library, uh, there was a lot of technical details about open type ligatures and, and lookups and things that are it's essentially a computer science topic now. I think in general I'm not sure, but uh, in this case, I think it is vital, um, especially when we're looking at minority languages and minority scripts. When your software development is commercially driven, uh, there's never really going to be the impetus of it, um, viability to implement those minority languages that can be done within a, an open source framework. I think we have to get away from this word non-Latin, and again, I think it um, it gives the impression that, that Latin is normative and everything else is exotic. I think we have to start talking about global design.